Hello everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Otto and this is a tutorial on how to set up your new DJI Mini 2 drone. On this video, I'll be talking about how to set up the drone, the controller, and then we're going to be taking a look at the buttons of the controller and the DJI Fly app as well. So let's jump into it. All right, let's see what we get inside the box. So here we have the drone, the DJI Mini 2. It is really mini, very small, lightweight. It comes with a gimbal protector and it comes with the battery already inside. This is a remote controller and here we have two sticks at the bottom. If you open the phone holder, you will see a cable that will let you connect the controller to an iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone, don't worry about it because here we have two more cables for phones that use a micro USB connector and another one for USB-C connectors. You also get another USB-C cable to charge the drone and the controller. It doesn't come with a charging brick, but almost any brick that you have is going to work fine. Inside the box, we also get some extra propellers, some extra screws, and a small screwdriver to change the props. And we also get extra sticks for the controller. It's not like they're going to break, but I guess they can get lost pretty easily. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is remove all the stickers. Now we're gonna charge the drone with this connector over here using the USB-C cable, like this. Now in the front of the drone, you're gonna see this LED light that will blink when it's charging and it will stay solid when it's fully charged. And this is probably a good time to insert the micro SD card in the back right here. Before we keep going with the drone, let's not forget to charge the controller. Now unfold the arms like this. First, the front arms and then the rear ones. So the next thing is to remove the gimbal cover. You have to press over here and then just pull away the cover. On the phone, make sure to download the DJI Fly app. Now back to the controller, take out the control sticks and screw them onto the controller. Now pull the phone holder and select the right cable to use with your phone. If this is not the right connector that you need, all you have to do is just get the one that you need. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna unplug it here, the old one, and just place this one in there. So just make sure that you use this, um, there's like a marking in here on the connector and this has to go on the controller here where you replace this one. Place the phone with the charging port to the right side and then connect the cable to the phone. Now open the DJI Fly app on your smartphone. And now to turn on the controller, you press once, release, and then immediately press again and hold it until it turns on. Now let's do the same with the drone. The power button is right here at the bottom. When it's time to turn either of them off, it's the same process. You have to press, release, and then press back again. The first time you connect the drone, there's going to be an activation screen. So you just hit agree and you just have to go with your information. If there is a firmware update, make sure to install it. Let's take a quick look at the controller. 
We already know that this is a power button over here. And in the middle, we have this switch with three flight modes. Right in the center is a normal mode. If you move the switch to the right to a sport mode, the drone will fly faster and it will be more responsive to your movements. And all the way to the left, we have cine mode. And this will make the drone fly slower, but it will help to get steadier shots when making a video. Now the speed on normal is 22 miles per hour, when the sport mode is going to be 36 miles per hour and on cine mode is going to be 13 miles per hour. This button on the left is going to initiate the RTH or return to home. To activate it, you need to press and hold it and the drone will come back to home. If you just press it once, it's going to stop or break from whatever it's doing at that moment. If you press the button once, then it's going to stop or break from whatever it's doing at that moment. On this corner on the right side, this button will switch from video to photo mode and vice versa. And on the opposite side, we have a function button that is customizable and the default function is to recenter the gimbal. On the top of the controller, the button on the right side will take a picture or start recording depending on what mode you're on. And to the left, we have this wheel that will control the tilt of the gimbal. I'm going to explain how you use the sticks, but uh, this takes a little bit of practice. If you push the stick up, the drone is gonna ascend. And if you push the stick down, it's going to descend. Now, if you push it to the left, it's going to rotate to the left. And if you push it to the right, it's going to rotate to the right side. All right, now with the right stick, if you push the stick up, it will fly forward. And if you push it back, it will fly backward. Pushing it to the left is gonna make it go to the left like this. And if you push it to the right, it's gonna make it go to the right in this way. It takes some practice and getting used to them, but I know you can do it. The app is going to show us what the camera is looking at. And there is a lot of information that is being shown to us at the same time. Also, the app is going to allow us to change some or most of the settings for the drone. So let's start on the left side. If you press over here, the drone is going to take off. And if the drone is flying, it will start the RTH or return to home. If you press the map icon, it will open the map. And over here, we have the information on the current height and the distance of the drone. Here at the bottom right side, we can choose the camera mode. If you want it to be auto or manual mode. If you select manual mode, you can select the shutter speed as well as the ISO. Up here, we can see the battery level. The 55 represents the percentage of the battery remaining. And these numbers over here are going to be the remaining flight time. Right now it's zero because it's not flying. But if you're flying, that's what those numbers mean. Next to the battery power is the signal strength between the controller and the drone and the icon next to it displays the current GPS signal strength. Here on the right side at the bottom we have the playback button. In the middle we have the shutter button to start recording or take a picture. Also when you're on video mode you're gonna get this little 1x circle in here and this is for the zoom. So right now it's like normal zoom, but if you press it, it's gonna go to two times. And then if you press it again, it's gonna go to four times. Now this four times only works on 1080p. If you go to 4K, it's only going to allow you to go to 2X. And this button over here is for the shooting mode. So here you can select what kind of picture you want. If it's single, auto bracketing or time shot, you can select to shoot video and here it's going to display another sub menu where you can choose the resolution like 4k and how many frames per second so also from here you can select the quick shots and the panorama mode and you're not allowed to select them 
if you're not in a flight. And up here on the very corner with the three dots, you are going to be able to go into the settings. So we have different choices up here, but the main ones are safety, control, and camera. And here on safety, you can select settings like the maximum altitude, the maximum distance, or the auto return to home altitude. On control, you can set up stuff like front LED color. You can select the settings for the gimbal, like if you wanted to go follow mode or FPV mode, you can select advanced gimbal settings. And here you are going to be able to customize the function button. On the camera tab, you're going to be able to select settings like the histogram, grid lines, the white balance, and you can control from here everything related to the storage. So I know that that was a lot of information, but trust me, flying a drone is not really that hard. So I hope that this information was useful. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. My name is Otto. Please like the video, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.